Cup. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I am taking the Ferrari, yes, in the rain because I don't really have much of a choice to have some work done. So we have 34,000 miles on the Ferrari. It's funny because people s said to me, you know, you're buying this exotic car, it's like buying a boat. You, so you dump a ton of money into it anytime it needs service. Um, it's very expensive, so <laughs> I'm gonna find out just how expensive this really is. At 35,000 miles, you're supposed to get um, the car serviced, so it's about that time, and because we can't drive it anyway right now, because we're under quarantine, Chris and I decided that we would go and bring it to a place that came recommended, it's Massimo's in Shrewsbury, and this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> but we're bringing it up to a local place. We're not bringing it to a Ferrari dealership. We're not um, supporting, you know, big corporate companies. We're supporting the little guys. So um, we figured this was a good time because I can't drive it anyway. So we'll have it all ready for when the quarantine's over, and then I can have some fun with it. But I think it needs brakes just by the feel of it. We, Chris and I, both agreed. Um, brakes are more than likely getting done. Um, that's probably going to be a couple thousand dollars alone. Um, I know that it did just have an oil change before we got it and it did just get new tires put on. There's a lot of things that we're going to have done to the car um, right now because like I said, we're at 35, just about 35,000 miles and I wanna be able to drive this thing when the government says that we are free from quarantine. I guess this is where we insert one of those like million years later clips. 2,000 years later. So, I dropped the Ferrari off a couple days ago, actually last week now, and I just got a call that it is going to be ready this afternoon, so I'm gonna get my training in. I have back and biceps today, so I'm gonna get that in, and then we're gonna go pick up the Ferrari, which I can't wait for, cause I miss her. Um, we're gonna find out what it costs to get the brakes done, and then there was some other stuff going on. Um, you know, when you hit a certain amount of miles, you have to get work done to your car. It's good for the car, so kinda like a um, going for a physical every year. You should get your car taken care of. Don't avoid that stuff, even though it costs money. Um, it is necessary to keep your car running well, so. Let's do some fitness, and then we're gonna go and get my baby back. I'm excited. All right, let's go.
Lots of curls today, lots of dumbbell rows today, and that's what all the abbreviations was on the board, and lots of pull-ups today, and a lot of dead hangs today. So um, I am pumped, my arms are exhausted, so this holding this is gonna be exhausting. Uh, we're gonna go pick up the Ferrari, I'm really excited, so let's go get her. Okay, we're home and I have my car back and I love driving it. That hasn't changed. So it was expensive. I assumed it was going to be and it was. So we spent upwards of around $3,000 to have all this work done. We had the brakes done. That was the bulk of it. Between labor and the brakes, it was like $2,000 just right there. Then we also had the air filters done. We had some plugs changed and that kind of, you know, normal maintenance type stuff. And it's a Ferrari, so everything is <laughs> marked up. So it's fine, and plus labor, of course. So $3,000 plus, and the car is all set for the summer. I'm very excited. So we're gonna be able to drive it now, and it's gonna be a comfortable drive, where I was a little nervous about the brakes before, not anymore, so it's pretty cool. So let me know what you think about <laughs> the cost of owning a Ferrari. Am I crazy to own an exotic car? Um, I don't know, sometimes I think I am, but other times I think, well, you only live once, right? So, have some fun. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment below, and make sure you like the video. See you guys next time.